Hi, this is another episode of the build of the DB Sport and Scale Tiger Moth. And in this one we'll be covering the build of the lower wing and aileron. And again, this will take the form of a number of still shots corresponding with the instructions and a brief uh, video of how to install the servo and then I'll do another video at the end just summarising the build. Before gluing the ribs in you'll need to make provision for the aileron servo. So this is the method I've used. I've used these uh, Krona servos and they have the advantage of being able to mount them flat. So the first thing to do is to make up a little plate to fit between the ribs. And this is just 3mm ply and there's another strip of ply there for the screws to go into. And then the servo is simply screwed onto the ply plate. It needs to be positioned quite close to the edge because the horn is actually very close to this rib here. So this one needs to be in alignment with the horn. And then we simply put in a support piece on this rib here and a similar piece on here. And then when we come to glue the ribs in, we can just drop this into place and then put another uh, piece, support piece, across the top of the plate. Here's the finished wing and you see I'm having a aileron servo in the wing here uh, so it'll be mounted uh, in the bottom like this and you can see how the uh, control rod lines up with where the horn will go in the aileron just here. I'll be making a cover over this section, a removable cover. The other thing I did to the aileron itself was uh, these joints here are, are simply uh, butt joints to the leading edge there. So I've just put in a little bit of reinforcement on each of those. And the other thing you may have noticed is that I have boxed in the uh, rear of the aileron and the rear of the trailing edge on the wing. So that's it. That's the lower wing all done. Just starting now on the build of the second wing before I go on to the centre section. <laughs> 